hello. Welcome to Strawberry Land. Ooh, ah, summertime, my favorite season. Time to enjoy the great outdoors, camping, swimming. And there's not a nicer place to do those things than here in Strawberry Land. <laughs> it sounds like strawberry shortcakes making quite a splash. Strawberry Land is real excited about going camping. <laughs> I hope nothing spoils it for them. Things have been extra nice around here lately. Nobody's seen that crusty old crumb, the peculiar purple pine man of Porcupine Peak. Nobody's home. Come now, Perfy. Open up. It's me, Sour Grapes. How do I know it's really you? <coughs> yeah, it is Sour Grapes. <coughs> Quick, inside. <laughs> What's the matter, Furby? Did you think I was Strawberry Shortcake coming to Barry Talk You? <laughs> Furby? Furby? Why, <laughs> Now, just what are you hiding from? Ooh, monster! Monster! Where is he? Uh, the monster. The monster doesn't exist. You'd change your tune if you saw what I saw. Show me, Perpy. It will be my treat to show you this monster of which I speak. For I am the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Strawberry Lamb. Mm. You too, Elder 
very owl. <laughs> I told you I'd be here for the camping trip. I wouldn't miss it for anything. <clears throat> this is my good friend from the land of the magnolias, Peach Blush. My pleasure. And who are you? She doesn't have a name. No one has been able to think of one. Why, you're just the most huggable baby I've ever met. We'll just have to find you a name. Melanie Bell and I are taking care of her. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> she isn't afraid of strangers or anything. She loves everyone. Do you like camping, little baby? I love camping. What is it? <laughs> You'll soon find out. Come on, Elderberry. Let's go home and unpack. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. You mean what? It's a giant footprint. Hmm. According to my calculations, the creature that made this print must be at least ten feet tall and weigh over four hundred pounds. This is our secret, Elderberry. We'll come back and do some scientific investigation tomorrow. So, for once in your life, you were right. There is a monster. Hear that, Perpy? Perpy? Perpy! Shh! He might hear us. There's only one thing to be done about this monster. Yes, Sour Grapes. Run before it catches us! Quite the contrary, my chicken-livered batter-beater. We are going to catch it! Oh, ridiculous! I only thought that you might be interested in becoming rich and famous. Rich and famous? We'll exhibit the monster all across the country. People will pay a fortune to see a real live monster. You're starting to appeal to my greedy nature. I'll build a trap to catch that monster if it takes me all week. For I am the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Ratatatatatata. Okay. I know, Strawberry. Why don't you tell us one of your ghost stories? Yeah. Come on, Strawberry. A real scary one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to scare the little baby. Oh, I like stories. <laughs> All right. You asked for it. There's a time they seem to remember When all the ghosts come out to play All the goblins gather together And have a very scary holiday Oh, 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 oh once again Just about midnight All the ghosts from miles around Try their worst to scare little children You the know then you can hear their haunting sound What was that? I think they're here You never can tell when the ghost is near Watch your step or you'll disappear <laughs> then the ghosts start searching for someone who they can spook and steal away. They'll tie you up with cobwebs and shadows and take you on their very scary holiday. Tiptoe, stay out of sight. The moon is full, the time is right. The ghosts are looking for you tonight. I guess we weren't so scary after all. <laughs> no, you're funny. <laughs> oh, look. The first star tonight. The wishing star. Make a wish, little one. I wish that I had a name and a pet. Just like all my friends in Strawberry Land. Gosh. I don't think there are any spare pets in Strawberry Land. That's all right. A wish can always come true. Oh, 
welcome to another beautiful morning in Strawberry Land. <laughs> well, it looks like everyone stayed up just a little too late last night. <laughs> I found one just like it yesterday. It must have been made by a monster. <gasps> Other tracks must be babies. <laughs> now don't you worry, Peach Flesh. We'll find her. <laughs> You are looking at a pure genius, Sour Grapes. What makes you think your contraptions will catch the monster? Just wait and see, Sour Grapes. Oh, what about Gates? Your snake! Your berry bird! Ah, my pies! Your pies? Mm, you're right. How big did you say this monster is? Fifteen feet tall, at least. I thought it was more like twenty feet. <laughs> Thirty feet if it's an inch. He's big and bad and ugly. Stands fifty stories high. A magnificent monstrosity will nab him by and by. He's grosser than Godzilla. God can chew us inside. Oh, every pound of scaly flesh will make our profits rise. Let's see, five thousand pounds at a thousand dollars a pound. Oh, Percy will be rich. For lunch in Gobble Cities. For snacks he munches cards. Oh, we will be so famous when we put him behind bars. We'll be on the TV for all the world to see. Oh, how rich we'll be! <laughs> it will feel divine. Oh, how our wealth will grow with our new pitch on show. Everyone will know that he is all mine. No. A shop is dagger. Oh, thanks, it's great the floor. He's frank and steady, be frightened in your You corner. couldn't ask for more. He's catastrophically creepy. A truly savage beast. We'll sell him for a million bucks. Ten million bucks at least. Oh, we'll be unbelievably. Inconceivably. Irretrievably. So very evenly. Gigantic. Such a monstrous. Such a seriously. Can't you want to see me? Don't write filthy rich. rich. <laughs> doesn't have a name. A likely story, if I ever heard one. I like stories. Hooray! <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. I was trapped in that big hole. What? How did you ever get out? Big boots. Big boots? <laughs> 
Big Boot, come and meet your new friend. Oh, the monster! Oh, now I get it. It's not one foot in, it's both feet and his tail. He's really shy. All he wants is someone to love him. I want to keep him. Nothing doing. He's coming with us. <laughs> The monster is ours! Oh, no! <laughs> Come on, let's take our catch to your place and plan our next move. <laughs> now, don't you worry, little baby. We'll get the food back. Somehow. Well, as it turned out, that monster isn't a monster at all. But that's not going to stop that villainous duo from putting poor little Big Boot in the circus. The monster! He couldn't even scare a peanut out of its shell! Come now, how about a nice, big, blood-curdling growl for sour grapes? Hmm? <gasps> Oh, not like that. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> I give up. What now? Well, Kirby, we either take him as he is, or we put you in the cage. I think we had better get this show on the road. Be a way out of here. Of course there is. A scientific way. There's our answer. How is that one little plant gonna help us get out of this cage, Plum Puddin? With the help of our friend, Mr. Sun. We'll need a little light. Hey, Mr. Sun! We're down here in the woods! Do you think you can give us a little more light down here? I can certainly try. <laughs> Nothing grows down here because it's too dark. A little light will help this tiny plant make up for lost time. Oh. 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 Thank you, Mr. Sun! Uh, anytime, Strawberry. I've been thinking how we can help rescue Figboot from those bullies. How, Strawberry? Well, it's going to take all of us. And all our pets together. Hurry, or we'll miss the big fairy trolley to Big Apple City. That's odd. I don't remember these holes being here. Well, don't just stand there. Get us out of here. There's something vaguely familiar about these holes. That's it. They resemble. Yeah. Giant footprint! Kirby, what do you say if we drop off this pint-sized pygmy and go for the big one? Catch it yourself! I'm taking this one to the circus! <laughs> Got what 
what you wanted most. A pet to love is all your own. But I still don't have a name. Don't you worry. I'm sure that someone, somewhere, has just the right name for you. We'll just have to do something about it. Friends, friends, friends. I'm talking about friends. Best friends. Very best friends. Take a whole lot of love and carry. Fill your arms full of hugs and sherry. What you get is the arm comparing friends. Best friends. I'm talking about friends. Oh, very much.